Hi, my name is Aaron Fain, and I am a uh, professional disc golfer based out of Canberra, Australia. Uh, my local club is at John Knight Park and at Edison Disc Golf Park. Today, I'm going to be running through my Castaplast top five in the bag. To get started, we'll go with our shortest range. Let's go with our Berg. I actually have a couple different Bergs. They are a pretty slow speed um, putt and approach disc. They have pretty much no glide, no speed, anything. They will go, I throw them anything within 60, 70 meters, and they pretty much drop on a dime and have a always solid fade at the end. So those are my go-to in windy conditions and anything where I uh, have a death putt coming my way. Next, we've got my Rico. This is my uh, approach putter. I like to throw this thing pretty much anything within 90 meters or so. It flies quite straight with a little bit of under stability. Um, it has a pretty substantial amount of glide, and uh, it's my safety shot for getting up to the getting up to the green. Next, we'll move up to my mid range. This is a Cax Z. It's a six-speed disc, however, it's got a pretty good amount of glide on it, so it flies a lot more like a uh, slow-speed fairway driver. Um, I don't even really feel like I need many straight fairway drivers with this guy. It holds a true line, and it, it's really good for shaping your shot, whether you want a hyzer, a straight shot, or an anhyzer shot. I like to throw this thing and tell it exactly what I want it to do, and it pretty much does that with a nice soft fade at the end. Love this disc, it's probably my favorite. Stepping up from that just a little bit more, we have the Falk. This is a understable fairway driver. I have a couple of different ones of these because I found that the weight variations on them actually play a pretty big factor in its understability. So this thing has a negative two turn, but um, it's, I found it's, it, you find yourself in a tailwind you want to throw this thing flat and it just glides and glides and glides forever. So I've actually been throwing this thing a whole lot lately. My last favorite disc is my K1 Line Grim X. This thing is a monster. It has just a small amount of turn on it. So you really crank it out there, it's going to get a nice shape on it for you. And it has a substantial amount of glide. This is actually the pop top version and somehow it just glides even further. This is my go-to driver on most holes. I like to shape my shots so I throw this thing on hyzer lines, straight lines, and anhyzer lines. So I hope I can show y'all what this bad boy does. And that concludes my Castaplast top five in the bag. I hope you've learned something and uh, get out and try throwing these bad boys.